Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing great and enjoying the summer. As the title of this video suggests, this is a eyewear collection video. Now, if you have glasses like I do, prescription lens, I'm usually wearing my lenses, but I'm really fond of minimalist, geometric, clean lined eyewear. So I just wanted to make a video to share, you know, my collection, which is been really tight but it's been growing i've been curating this for the past few years and i have some interesting pieces to so stick around and find out but first if you're new here and like minimalist menswear make sure to check out my other content and also subscribe to my channel all right let's start with the one that i'm wearing right now which is a frame that i got from rain this is a california based micro brand and i really love a you know steel based circular minimalist frame this is somewhat like my steve jobs aesthetic frame i really love the fact that this is you know brushed and has a very very clean lined silhouette i think that rain is a great option for someone looking for budget frames but a really exceptional finish these are made in china however they are handcrafted and this brushing is just ultra nice the frames themselves are ultra light and you know um, the temple tips are acetate and it marks uh, you know it being handmade which is great and also this frame is called the Benson 48 I'll try and link all the ones available still in the description box below so make sure to check them out if you need the same exact pair the other thing that I loved about this is that it reminds me of more expensive offerings from say uh, you know, Maikita or you know, other Japanese brands uh, which make really exceptional steel based frames. This uh, etching on the uh, lens case itself is very interesting. And these are ultra lightweight, these are your everyday kind of frames which you can even sport to the gym or dress more casually with. Moving on to the second favorite of mine, which is in the form of this circular frame again, which is in acetate. This one is from Moscot. Now, Moscot is iconic and certainly does not need any introduction. However, Moscot hails from New York City and I happened to be at the iconic flagship store in New York around 2018. And interesting enough, these were a gift from a friend who was visiting alongside and I'm really thankful for this and so they'll hold a special memory in my life. And um, one of the things I straight away love about Moscot is that it gives you that old world charm. This is a really nicely finished acetate frame with the name Sydney. Uh, it is a circular frame again and it has a very interesting sort of grey green colour. I really love this because it is very vintage looking. This kind of puts me in the mood to read a book, have a slow life and you know, sometimes frames can put you in a different kind of a mood. This one is for that. Oscott is, you know, very famous for its Lemtosh uh, shape, which is more like a classic shape, but uh, square geometric with circular edging and a keyhole frame. I do hope to get that some point in the future, but for now, this is the one that I rock and i really love this moving on to a relatively you know latest acquisition which is in the form of cutler and gross now cutler and gross like most probably needs no introduction but cutler and gross hails from london and is not as old as most but maybe 60 years 50 years in the making their frames are excellent they are handcrafted in italy once again and this one is the 1306 reference. I got it on a really nice deal in the SN sale. I believe it might still be available. And link is in the description for your reference. I really love the quality of these frames. They are ultra squared out and geometric, which I really love. Clean line silhouette once again. And one of the things I love about Cutler and Gross is that their styles are really modern so like 60s is what comes to mind and this one in particular is that uh you know clean line 60s chunky black acetate the acetate on this is just something that you need to feel in your hands to get what it is about again one their factories are in italy in um, the capital region of uh i think i believe it's cadorna or a town in Italy which is known to be making acetate for the past, you know, longest time in the past. 
and uh, I still have to get my lenses onto these ones and I would like some suggestion because I was thinking to toy with the idea of getting um, transition lenses and blue ones at that. I am still not sure because blue ones is something experimental and uh, you know uh, green or grey is the standard norm but blue on this might look the bit when I step out in the sun. I really waited a long time to gather a black acetate frame. This is where one could begin probably but I was not finding something that was you know this good and at the price that I could justify. This is a life piece. So one thing I love about this is that you know it's, it's timeless and uh, it's an investment for a lifelong black frame. The other thing I love is the exposed, uh, you know, hinges and the exposed work on the insides. Uh, this is just really, really superb. The wearing experience, the frame weight is just perfect enough for, for it to be, uh, you know, hefty and well done, but not too heavy for day to day wear. So this would be my main driver. I'll probably be wearing this more once I get the glasses fitted as you see the sticker still on. Right, moving on to sunglasses now this is a pair of Celine uh, from the old Celine of course and it is just fantastic I love the overall silhouette it is oversized and reminds you of 3d glasses this is uh, during the era when Phoebe Philo was at the helm of Celine and you know I just love because she is a pioneer uh, fantastic pair I believe back then they were made by Safilo now it's been taken over by Kering or Luxottica I'm not too sure but I love the fact that this frame is ultra oversized and it really really protects you blocks you out in the Sun completely it is ultra minimal and black of course you need a high quality pair of black this again I scored in the uh, sample sale of Celine in New York back in 2018 so once again, when I curate what is going to be for the long run, it gives me great satisfaction because you invest in high quality pieces and then you actually use them, which is what I love about these. Now, some of you might have seen this in my other videos. I really love a tinted frame. This is from Shimi. Now, Shimi is one of these budget friendly options, but with a premium offering. This is an ex Essence exclusive. I'll again try and link it in the description box below. They have colored lenses for Essence. And this is the O5, which is again a geometric pair, which is not too far from the Cutler and Gross that I got. Uh, I just love this shape because it's timeless, it's elegant and modern, has clean lines, all the things that I love. And this is particularly useful for someone living in the colder places um, like I do. And in the winter times, you do have, you know, the gray days where you do want to wear sunglasses. But like the one that I have from Celine is a bit too much. And, uh, you know, it, it might block out your vision entirely. This, on the other hand, with the yellow lenses enhances your vision. And that's what I love about this. It has a stylish appeal and I also see it trending a bit like a lot of uh, eyewear is popping out to be with uh, colored lenses, especially yellow because it's really classic. It reminds you again of the 70s, 80s and whatnot. So with that in mind, this is my ultra tight minimalist collection. One bit to end the video, I have a playful lens, of course, that I picked up from this small pop-up store in distillery district this is of course just a fun lens it still has uv protection going on but this is on the days that i feel just to have fun with the eyewear and you know it's ultra minimal still it has a sort of um, you know highlight like orange uh, lens case and matte black hands i really love this because it's funny and you know some days you just want to be in a playful mood so with that in mind this is my ultra tight collection um, i think it's pretty rounded and i do not need any more new glasses let me know your favorite brands in the comments down below and any questions you have regarding cutler and gross ryan or moscott or celine brands that i featured in this video and i hope you enjoyed this video once again have fun in your summer and until next time wherever you are have a good day or a good night laters bye bye